What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. You join me inside the Extra 200, just taking off out of Falmir here, climbing out northbound uh, to the aerobatic area, and today we are going to be doing flat spins and inverted spins. Now, it's been a very long time since I've done either of those, it's uh, literally been years, and quite frankly I forgot just how uncomfortable inverted spins are, which uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy my face uh, in uh, a later part of this video. Uh, but for now we're just getting strapped in and getting ready to go and uh, before we actually do these spins I thought I'd jump into DCS world, fire up the Christian Eagle and actually show you uh, what uh, the principles are behind spinning and how you can control the spins, how you can uh, increase, decrease the rotation, make them flatter, more shallow or, or more steep and uh, what the general principles are before we actually dive into doing this in the real airplane. So without further ado, let's get into it. We have two good engines inside, you're clear to disconnect the headset. We'll see you on the left with the pin. Thanks a lot. Before we jump into the real life video of me doing a flat spin in the extra 200, um, I thought I would just uh, demonstrate some uh, characteristics of uh, spinning and how to get into spins and how to increase the uh, rotation or decrease the rotation or make them flat uh, in a simulator. We've got our Christian Eagle here in DCS World. Now I have flown the real thing as well, I mean the real Christian Eagle. Um, so stay tuned for that, uh, but I can tell you uh, that in general there is no good uh, propeller driven aircraft aerobatic simulation anywhere, I think, for any simulator. However, there are some things that Christian Eagle in DCS does do very well um, relative to the real thing and certainly some characteristics are very similar. So first of all, uh, I'd say something like the roll rate. Uh, this is pretty much exactly how the real thing rolls and it's very sharp and precise and I do love that in DCS. Uh, and the other thing that we can demonstrate is uh, spin characteristics and how to get into spins, out of spins. First of all, uh, a spin is essentially when, uh, when you know, how it happens is that one of the wings uh, is stalled more than the other so one wing produces a bit more lift that creates rotation and that's how the aircraft gets into a spin essentially. So I'm just gonna stall it. So kill the thrust, full back stick and uh, full left rudder and there we go now we're in a spin uh, so we can keep it in a spin indefinitely if we just keep these controls so full left rudder full back stick now if I move in spin aileron like this I will increase the rotation of the spin so you'll see that now so there we go the spin is becoming a little bit faster now if I want to decrease the rotation I'll go out spin aileron and now that will decrease the rotation uh, not quite as prominent in the Christian Eagle here. However, what happens if I want to make it a flat spin? Well, I add throttle and now the gyroscopic or the precession of the propeller has now lifted the nose because the force has acted 90 degrees through the disc and now we are in a flat spin. So this is what it is. There we go, flat spin. Now to recover, what I want to do is full in-spin aileron, full forward stick, reduce the throttle and full opposite rudder. So now it'll take a little while, but there we go. Now we are fully recovered. Keep that uh, 90 degree down line and then we pull out. Uh, so in a nutshell, that is you know how you can control uh, the spin. Uh, and also one thing I should mention is that in the extra there, what we did was we didn't just stall it and made it spin uh, initially like a normal spin and then transition into a flat spin like what we did here. Uh, what we did there was we sort of went up into a stall turn or a hammerhead. It's very difficult to do here in the Christian Eagle. Uh, but there we go, we got it. Now full back stick and apply throttle and there we go. Now we're in that flat spin again. So. Uh, that's how it is and to recover once again. There we go. Kill the throttle. Uh, that'll increase the rotation here very quickly now uh, But then we recover it.
first of all, you gotta remember that uh, everything started reversed, so you're gonna be pulling back to recover, not pushing forward, uh, because you'd be upside down. So let's go upside down. Uh, we kill the throttle, and now uh, it's just gonna be the opposite. So we're gonna push full forward as it starts to stall, and then just do the left rudder, and then uh, wait for it to get into an inverted spin. Our speed is dropping off. There we go. Full forward stick. Full left rudder, and yeah, we are in an inverted spin by the looks of it. I would say that is pretty accurate. Um, so to recover, all you got to do, really, I mean, you don't need anywhere near as much um, back stick because you haven't got the tailplane that's uh, uh, you know restricting the airflow over the, the elevator. So you just got to do opposite rudder and just a little bit of uh, back stick. Now you didn't see that because of the ocean all that well, how we recovered. We recovered super easily and quickly. So we can try that one more time here. Perhaps if we do it over land, you'll see it a bit better. And certainly, if you do it in real life, I mean, it goes without saying, but don't do it over a cloud, because the last thing you want to do is you want to be in a spin over in, in a cloud and then um, have no visual references to recover in real life. So let's try that again. Let's go inverted and kill the throttle. And just keep it level. Level. Okay, full forward stick, full left rudder. Here it goes, and there is an inverted spin. Yay! Okay, now let's just go uh, opposite rudder, and there we go, and a little bit of back stick, and it recovers super easily. And real life is exactly the same, and it's very easy to recover from an inverted spin, but make sure you don't get confused which way the nose is spinning, because when you're upside down, especially if you look kind of behind you like that, you might misinterpret which direction you're spinning in and you might put in the rudder to help you uh, with the spin as opposed to try and get out of it so that is something to keep in mind for sure uh, but anyway uh, let's uh, let's jump into the real extra 200 and uh, see how it all works in real life uh, and I can tell you in real life uh, doing inverted spins is highly unpleasant if you're not used to negative G which I am not and something that I need to get used to spin doesn't actually work. We end up in a uh, spiral dive to the left even though we started using right rudder. Um, suspect maybe that's something to do with the characteristics of the extra 200. It doesn't want to spin to the right. Um, not sure, but either way, ended up being a spiral dive with negative Gs, so that needs to be repeated.
it for this spinning sortie. We're now heading home. Uh, enjoy the landing. Please do make sure to smash the living daylight out the like button if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future ones and hopefully I'll catch you then. Adios. Try that one more time.